first produce cities in china and second produce india in india women are significantly involved in various kinds of industries related to silk production these are rearing of silk worms reeling of silk from cocoons and processing of raw silk into fabrics by their enterprise they contribute to the nation's economy china leads the world in silk production india also ranks among the leading silk producing countries first is silk producing country is china then second is india the next is from cocoon to silk then how to uh, make silk first is rearing silk worms rearing silk worms means silk farming then um, a female silk worm lays 100 of eggs female silk worm lays 100 of eggs at a time the eggs are stored carefully on strips of cloth or paper and sold to silk worm farmers the farmers keep eggs under hygienic condition and under suitable conditions of temperature and humidity and means these eggs are covered in cloth or another type of um, um, cloth then it is sold into silk farmers they uh, keep it under the hygienic condition of temperature then the eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature for the larvae to hatch from eggs this is done when mulberry trees bear a fresh crop of leaves the larvae called caterpillars on silk worms eat day and night uh, increase in our mean in size then caterpillars this mulberry leaves eating their size is increasing the larvae are kept in clean bamboo trays this larva is kept in bamboo trays along with the freshly chopped mulberry leaves after 25 to 30 days the caterpillars stop eating and move into a tiny chamber of bamboo in the tray spin cocoons spin cocoons means their body cover is of threads then after 25 to 30 days after their body is covering spin of cocoons small racks of things may be provided in the trays to which cocoons get attached the caterpillar of silk worm spins the cocoon inside which develops the silk moth then after this covering cocoon the next step they they is develop into silk moth then processing that means this how to process a pile of cocoon is used for obtaining silk fibers the cocoons are kept under the sun or boiled or exposed to steam then next the cocoon is not steamy the silk fiber separate out uh, steam or heating time the fiber is separate fiber means a group of thread then the process of taking out uh, threads from cocoon for use as silk is called a reeling of the silk that means this uh, their body uh, removing this thread process is called the reeling of the silk reeling is done in special machines which are the threads of fibers of silk from the cocoon silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are woven into silk cloth by weavers okay then we third lesson finish in this lesson we have to discuss uh, uh, animal fibers animal fibers example wool and silk wool eating animal are camel sheep goat etc then another animal is silk moth then wool is used to warm our body then some different steps of fibers to wool then scoring shearing sorting dyeing and arrange then next we have to discuss silk silk is very costly and the real no silk worms for obtaining silk is called sericulture and life is real silk moth is when first fertilization of male and female then female lays eggs on mulberry leaves then this eggs it hatches out the silk worm then silk worms body covering then some fibers there this fiber covering process is called cocoon and after this uh, body is develop into moth that means silk moth